Technology is heavily woven into the Common Core State Standards. Not only will the integration of technology allow schools to meet the Common Core, but it will foster student collaboration, creativity, and communication. This video will feature technology integration and Common Core instructional shifts in Bay District classrooms, as well as highlight a teacher's changing role. I chose to videotape my lessons and make them available to my students so that A, they could go back and um, review at home at night, and my goal was to make better use of my class time to be able to help them with the exer actual exercises. And so by videotaping the lessons and having them view the lessons before they come to class and fill in blank notes before they come to class, then they can come with a set of questions that they already need help for or with and I can spend my time by grouping them into compatible groups and helping them with the actual exercises, helping them through the practice. So I began this by using a blank set of notes. So I have a pre-set example that I'm working from. So when they actually watch the video, they will see me and hear me working this and they should copy these down and then they can make notes in the margin, I don't understand this, I need some help here, and so on and so forth. So they get this, this is their homework. So the next step is for me to take those blank notes and to fill them in so that when I am working and making the recording, I can do it accurately and quickly. Uh, the first lessons that I did, and I asked my students to critique them, and one of the things they told me was that my voice was monotone and that we needed to work on the sound. So I began to record at school rather than at home so that I could envision my students here in the classroom and I could remember to pause and give them think time and interact time. So I pre-do what I'm going to write on the board here. Now I'm ready to take my blank notes and I simply hit the red button and begin to record like this. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about multiplying and dividing radical expressions. Remember we have um, the index is in, underneath the radical symbol we have the radican. I'm looking at the third root or the cube root of negative four times the cube root of two. The index is the same, it's three, so I have the cube root of negative four times two, which is the cube root of negative eight. Now remember, you can't have, um, if you have a cube root and this number, the radican is negative, then the root is going to be negative. Think to yourself, what number multiplied times itself three times will produce negative eight? Does this look familiar? So the cube root of negative eight is negative two. I would continue my presentation until I had finished uh, the lesson, leading, asking leading questions, stopping for think time, um, thinking, vocalizing my thinking process so that they can model that. Then when I'm finished, I hit the blue button and save it. Students live very busy lives, and they're tired when they get home. After football practice, basketball practice, cheerleading practice, and or a job, and it's very difficult for them to concentrate to actually do the practice that's required in mathematics at home. Um, so by using the technology that we have that's available, it gives them the opportunity to do something at night that they like to do, watch a video, take few notes, very brief notes, and then use the time in class to practice. Most all of them have cell phones, most all of them have computers. If not, they have access to them through the libraries and in the classrooms. It, it's the wave of the future. It's reaching them where they want to be. It's using 
what we have available to reach them because they're different. They learn differently than we learned when we were young people. Social norms are different. The culture in the classroom is different. So, and there are distractions in the classroom sometimes that keep them from learning or from focusing to the best of their ability sometimes. So by being able to sit in a quiet place and watch a video alone, then they're more likely to get it, I think. And then they can work together cooperatively like they're accustomed to doing today to get the right answers on their papers and practice for the assessments.